Mabon. Makikiudong, ha? Ay, daming nangyari po today. So, first, we'll give you just a, a heads up on the meeting of President-elect Ferdinand Marcos and French Ambassador Michel Bufol. Uh, both sides began by congratulating each other for the win of the president-elect and for Emmanuel Macron's re-election as president despite a campaign concurrent with the conflict in Ukraine. Both sides also discussed the effects and impacts of the said conflict on oil, energy, and food security. President-elect Marcos cited France as a model for the PH in terms of energy sourcing and generation. Both sides discussed the economy and the plans in this area of the incoming administration. Some of the prospective activities to commemorate 75 years of Philippine-France relations were also discussed and briefly discussed towards the end of the meeting with the Indo-Pacific area and strategy as well as issues of overseas Filipinos in France. The courtesy call, on the other hand, by His Excellency Luc Veron, head of the EU delegation to the Philippines, began with President-elect uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Ambassador Luc Veron discussing various issues on Philippines and the European Union relations, including development cooperation, which includes support for the peace process in Mindanao. Uh, plus trade, disaster prevention, rule of law, good governance, and human rights. They also discussed the situation in Ukraine and how it had been affecting Europe and the Philippines. We'll take questions after the second announcement. Uh, we have uh, new designated cabinet nominees, the first of which is Maria Sinaida Angping for Secretary of the Presidential Management Staff. She comes with a professional experience in the fields of public service and administration and international relations and diplomacy. She is a three-term congresswoman who advocated legislative measures that promoted diplomatic relations, tourism development, public health and education, women and children's welfare. She institutionalized necessary infrastructure that promoted sustainable self-reliance and empowerment, especially of the mar marginalized sector in the third district of Manila. The next nominee is Mayor Cristina Frasco for their Secretary of the Department of Tourism. She is the incumbent mayor of Liloan in Cebu. She was awarded the prestigious Presidential Lincoln Bayan Regional Award by the Civil Service Commission in its 2021 search for outstanding government workers for her exemplary performance as a local chief executive through proactive initiatives towards innovation in governance and sustainable and inclusive programs fostering excellence in government service. She was a top performing mayor in Central Visayas, ranking number one among the 116 mayors in the entire Region 7 and number one among all 44 municipal mayors in the province of Cebu. Next, we have uh, for Secretary of the Department of Budget and Management, Amena Pangandaman. She has over two decades of policy development and finance expertise, has led various government offices before landing the role of Managing Director of the Office of the Governor and Executive Offices of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas in 2019. She is the former Assistant Secretary of the DBM and former Chief of Staff of the late Senate President Edgardo Angara. For Secretary of the Department of Information and Communications, the ICT, the nominee is Ivan John Enrile Uy. He's an expert in technology law, well experienced in information technology project management, and served as Chairman of the Commission on Information and communications technology for the Philippine government. He oversaw the formulation of the Philippine Digital Strategy from 2011 to 2016. He is an international commercial arbitrator on areas involving IT-related disputes. 
And finally, as Secretary for the Department of Social Welfare and Development, Mr. Erwin Tulfo. He has been in the public service doing social work in three decades, awarded Best Public Service Program host, He is a 2014 SM Super, Super meaning Salute to Unparalleled People, Endeavors, and Resources Award for media for his coverage of Typhoon Yolanda. He is known for his involvement in covering and helping the Filipinos here and abroad through his social programs and partnership with other organizations. And that's it. We'll take a few questions. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. Uh, do you have any for the for the president uh, All right, we have no uh, information yet. I think they're still in the process of making some crucial decisions. So right now, no, I'm sorry, no information as of now. We'll, but we will inform you as soon as we get the the information on the on the inaugural. Ma yes, ma'am. Uh, You want me to read them again? No, I <laughs> generally for their experience in public service and proven service record. Yes. Uh, I have a question about Senator Aini Markle and her role in the uh, President Hanumi administration. Would she have a similar role to Bongo had in the Duterte in the Duterte administration as a sort of special assistant to the President? A special, the role of special assistant to the president yes. has already she been is, filled. Yes, but she has sort of counted herself or self nominated herself as like the super sister of the president to Duterte. Would she have that role? Would she have that role? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the share of Madre, yung asset set na magpupulot sa yung mutual. Now my question is, will the Marcos admin pull out our personnel in the European share of Madre? Or stated yung asudari natin doon, despite ng ganitong harassment in China? Uh, President-elect Marcos's uh, foreign policy has not changed, but since this is new information, we'll have to get a further statement, if ever, on that one. For the moment, he's not yet the sitting president, so uh, these matters should be addressed first by President uh, Rodrigo Duterte. Ma'am, follow up po dun sa China question, because nagbago from the campaign, sabi kasi ni President-elect Marcos, hindi na available sa atin yung date ruling, but in the interview with you, with you there, sinabi niya, he will use the arbitral ruling. What changed uh, the should we see this as a favor to the U.S.? The, the foreign policy has not changed, but as of the moment, since he is not yet the sitting president, the details will have to be worked out when he is actually the architect of our foreign policy. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, guys.